Good afternoon, I'm Allie Hoxie. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Truck drivers causing chaos along the Ambassador Bridge. The Freedom Convoy is protesting COVID mandates in Canada. They're causing a blockade at the border with traffic backups. The Ambassador Bridge is shut down going into Canada. Traffic is open from Canada going into the U.S. The parents of the teen accused in the Oxford High School shooting in court today listening to evidence against them. James and Jennifer Crumbly are charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter and the deaths of four students who were shot and killed during that shooting last November. The Crumblies are accused of gifting their teenage son, Ethan, the gun that was used in the shooting, not locking up the weapon properly and ignoring signs of mental instability. The judge will determine if there's enough evidence against the Crumbly parents to send the case to trial. Demolition of homes under proposal and in Detroit is underway. Two vacant homes were demolished on Caldwell Street between Mound and Davison on the city's east side. City officials say the passage of proposal and by voters provided funding that was not previously available due to federal restrictions. 324 vacant properties will be demolished in Detroit's District 3, which includes a portion of Detroit's east side, with an additional 419 planned demolitions. And our forecast for today, clouds are locked in, but eventually we'll get more peaks of sunshine throughout the afternoon. High temp is going to take a step back. 27 will be the high, but we get back to the 30s for tomorrow as well as Friday.